FTP, FTPS, SFTP, and TFTP. What are they? Are they related? They sound related. Why are they so confusing? I'm Hans and I'll take you through what they are. You know, when I first released the TFTP server, at least two people felt the need to explain to me in detail the difference between FTPS and SFTP. Like somebody who has written, actually wrote an FTP server wouldn't know. I think that's a testament to how confusing this gets. So let's start with the simplest one, FTP. It stands for File Transfer Protocol. You might have been able to guess that. It's been around since the 1970s, so it stood the test of time and is there for transferring files to and from a computer or a server. You, if, if you've had a, a website for years, then you've probably used it already because that has been the, the de facto way to copy files to the web server for a long time. Now, it comes with a big downside, which is it's completely unencrypted, which means if somebody else is sniffing the packets, they can read everything, they can read your files, and yes, they can read your password. I actually have another video about this, or another blog post about this. Uh, so it's insecure, which is where FTPS comes from. The S at the end is a secure, means a secure extension on FTP. So it's FTP over a secure connection using the same technology, the same uh, security certificates and encryption protocols that's used with HTTPS on websites. So when you visit a website and it says HTTPS and there's a little padlock in the corner, it's the same encryption system that gets used in FTPS. So yes, FTP and FTPS are related. And I am pleased that most web hosts now seem to use FTPS instead of the insecure FTP original. Now, SFTP, or Secure File Transfer Protocol, is a completely different protocol. It is completely incompatible with FTP or FTPS. It's usually run on top of a secure shell or SSH. And web hosts used to be very cagey about letting you use SFTP, although that seems to have changed, um, with more of them allowing it. And the reason is because it runs on top of the secure shell, the secure shell gives you console access to the server, allowing you to go in and potentially make changes that they don't want you to do. And I guess they would see it as an increasing the attack surface, the potential for somebody else to hack their way in and do something nasty. So, as I say, completely unrelated to FTP or FTPS. Completely different protocol, different encryption system, and everything. And then there's the oddball TFTP. And yes, FTP still stands for File Transfer Protocol, but this one is the Trivial File Transfer Protocol. And this is one that most people will probably not even know exists. It's designed to be very simple. So it has no security whatsoever, not even password protection. Anybody, when, when TFTP server is running, anybody can access it. So why would anybody use it? Well, the reason is it's very, very simple. If you're working on embedded systems, for example, and you need something, you need a server to copy files to your little embedded board, and it's got limited memory and everything, TFTP works. It works very effectively. You, you just now it's, it's clunky, but as I say, no security, but it works. So it's, it's quite effective in that situation. You wouldn't want to run, uh, definitely not want an internet facing TFTP server. I think that's just asking for trouble. No. So there you have, there are the, the, the different systems, TFTP, Trivial File Transfer Protocol, SFTP, over, usually over SSH. Um, you will use that one if you're using a, a like a virtual private server or a, a Linux server or something like that, that's when you're likely to be using that one. If you're a, a general end user, you probably don't use it. Um, FTP is still used for websites. Now, if you have a website or a blog, you might still not have used it because these days you can push one button and have a WordPress blog up and running or whatever system that you want. 
but it's still there, it's still there so you can manually copy files to, to your, your server and make changes like that. Another situation where you might use FTP is um, high-end cameras can have FTP built in for you to transfer your files to your computer. Or you can use one of the many other, you know, just plug in the cable and use USB or whatever. Um, so that's when you might use it. As an end user, you might not even ever need any of these. Uh, I'd say F FTP is the, the more common one and amongst Linux and servers, SFTP. So I hope that has demystified and clarified it. I think the biggest thing to, to know is that there are three different protocols here, TFTP, SFTP, and then FTP and FTPS, the secure variant of, of FTP. If you get those and just, you know, when you need to access a server, that way, then you know what, what you need to use. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you next time.